Hello everyone, Kirith here, and I'm going to show you the easiest and fastest way to get credits in Grand Theft 7. This is so stupidly easy for such a high amount of credits. It's actually a bit ridiculous. It's the Red Bull Ring Circuit Experience. We're going to get over 1,200,000 credits for just six minutes of driving. Have a look at the top right. I'm doing this at 2.43 in the morning. Um, partly why the video is a bit grainy and recording it straight off my PS5. So apologies about that. But I can guarantee you're going to get these credits. It's really, really easy. I'm going to show you how. So the first braking mark is a 100 meter board. Brake just before it down to second or third gear. Avoid that sausage curb on the inside and on the outside. Accelerate nice and easy. Now in the Red Bull Junior car in Gran Turismo 7, it's a very different car to GT Sport. So in GT Sport, I would try and carry a lot of speed through the corners. Where in Gran Turismo 7, very simply, just brake as late as possible, get the corner speed low. And then squirt throttle is kind of a point and shoot car in GT7. Here again, braking late, just around the 100 meter board. Really so around the corner and squirt the throttle. You don't need to try and carry that minimum corner speed like I did in Gran Turismo Sport. The physics in Gran Turismo 7 just don't really lean that way. And that's going to be a gold medal here for sector one, which is pretty, pretty easy. Just the three sectors and the lap attack to get the over a million credits. It's, you know, one of the easiest things in the game to do, in my opinion. Right, coming in sector two now. Now in Gran Turismo Sport again, I'll be trying to carry a lot of speed around these corners, but you can see here just how late I'm going to brake. Well after 100 meter boards. I don't normally brake that late at all in most cars, but this car has a lot of engine brake moving down the gears, all the way down to first gear. We get the car stopped, pivot at really low speed, squirt the throttle, get in our way. So I'm not fussed about trying to carry corner speed, even through these middle corners here in the track Red Bull Ring. Again, I can get a really low corner speed, get the car point in the right direction and just mash the throttle. So quite simple to do in my opinion. You don't need to rebalance things. I do get it a bit out of shape here if I remember, yeah, got my angles wrong. But again, so much speed in the car, it can just pull you out of trouble. And if you're just here to get the credits, then pretty easy to do. We're going to go for line. And even that's quite a poor sector. So we're going to be almost half a second clear of the gold medal. And now it's time for the last sector. Super, super, super simple. All you've got to do here is maximize track limits. You can use so much of the track on the left hand side here which means you don't have to sacrifice speed. Let's turn the car in. You can go over that curb if you want, but basically on the left-hand side, I use all of this space, turning quite late, and it's really not that complicated. Have a look at that again if you want to see the lines I was taking. You can basically cut the corner on the inside. You can use the track limits on the outside. I was worried here I wasn't going to, gold, going to get the gold medal, but actually we did, <laughs> just about. Um, so yeah, so very, very quick. We've done the first three sectors. I don't anticipate they should be very problematic at all. Let's see how they link through for the lap. Again, we did this first time. And if it was quite tricky, I wouldn't be able to do it first time, but we're able to do it. So we're going to break just around the 100 meter ball for turn one. We're going to keep it in third gear here. I thought second gear was too low. Keep it in third gear. Just avoid the sausage curb on the inside. Avoid going over the sausage curb on the left. Nice and stable entry. Get on the power on the exit. And by avoiding those sausage curbs, you're going to stop bouncing the car and you're not going to have any major moments of oversteer. Laying down the throttle, coming into turn two now, or turn three, depending on whether you call that kink corner. Braking quite late, in fact, too late for this one, if I remember, but because you get so much engine braking, it's actually fine. So in a GT car, that will be a mess of a corner. I'd be losing so much time getting that deep. But in the Red Bull Junior, because you get so much engine braking, you can go deep, accelerate so well, don't worry about trying to carry that corner speed three. Again, we're going to brake here after 100 meter ball, quite late, later than I do in GT car. Get the car rotated, on the throttle, Bobsy Runkle, nothing too much to worry about. You don't really balance things in the brake. Quite a simple thing to do. Going through the middle corners here. Again, just trying to hug the inside line here, not trying to take a sweeping line through. And uh, because I went wide here last time, this time I'm really going to try and get over the curb on the inside. Should be trying to touch that curb, really. Then you know you're taking a better line. So already time now for the last two corners of the lap. And I think I messed this up. I think I could have taken a lot more of the curb on the inside. Let's have a look. If if I remember this correctly and yeah I'm massively massively wide and I could have gone wider on on the exit so just use the amount of track there to your advantage minimize the turning input that you have to put in but either which way this car is so powerful it's got so much downforce we're going to go over the line and be um wow over a second gold so I'm really not um overemphasizing it this is a quite a simple one to do you're going to get a stupid amount of credits you can use it to buy fun cars to drive, whatnot. And here we go, 48,000 credits for doing the various sectors, I believe. And then we're going to get the 1,200,000 credits um, for getting the gold and the bronze. Super, 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 super simple. I'm not going to say no to easy credits. Absolutely not. 
I want to get those legendary cars. I haven't been able to buy any kind of decent legendary car yet. So I'm going to be doing a lot more of these circuit guys as you asked in my videos. We're going to have it down third person. So I'll show you exactly what I'm doing. Um, sometimes you can ease in third person. Have a look how I kind of give a wide berth to the sausage curb on the inside here at turn one. I'm not interested in going over it for the circuit experience. In a GT car, I might try and straddle it, but not here. And that's longer up to turn two or turn three. If you did enjoy this, by the way, do make sure to like, subscribe. Um, I'm so, so, so grateful to everyone who subscribed to the channel. 23,000 subscribers almost. Absolutely mad. I really hope you enjoyed the content. I broke, broke it too late. But you can see if I go down to first gear, I still get the car stopped. It's obviously an uphill braking zone. So you can break quite late. Now, the next corner here, I'm always quite careful not to break too late in GT cars because you can just roll into the gravel. But I had the confidence in this Red Bull Junior just to break really late. So we break well after the 100 meter border, I believe. There we go. And we're still able to get the car stopped going past the apex. Really slow rotational speed. And they're uh, getting the power. But if you don't understand what I'm saying in this term, in this concept of um, just break late and have the slow apex speed, then let me know in the comments because it's, it's a driving philosophy that maybe I can't explain well, but really does suit this car, this combination. And... Uh, here we go again. Basically, the car's got enough acceleration to get you out of trouble. You don't need to maintain a minimum corner speed. Um, obviously, that might be the fastest way to get the optimal lap time here, but for the purpose of getting the credits, I'm not really too bothered about that. Uh, really, really wide here. Like, There's no way this should be a gold lap, really, being that wide around some of the critical corners of the track. But anyway, it is what it is. And it's now going to be the run to the line. And there we go. For just six minutes' work... We're going to be 1,200,000 credits richer. And I'm all for that. Someone who's doing this at 2.52 in the morning. Because <laughs> that's the time I got to play today. But really hope that helps you. Um, do let me in the comments if, if it does. If you've got any other recommendations for circuit experiences, let me know. And I'm going to be working my way through and hope you can find this guy's helpful. So until then, see you next time.